you're chilling at home playing an incredibly hard online game because if you can prove to yourself that you can beat this game, then maybe, just maybe, you can regain some control over your incredibly shitty life. And then some asshole kills you? But worse than that, he calls you the same slurs that your dad does. And hey, therapy is expensive, so you get so triggered you go online to learn how to become a pro gamer. But the folks on the forums call you the same slurs that your mom calls you because you play baby ass games like the latest COD and Splatoon. And in your moment of weakness, you take the black pill. You listen to the trolls and you download Stalker. Because apparently if you play a game that is instantly merciless and impossibly hard, it means you have testicles. There's no tutorial despite having incredibly complex systems. There's not even a game guide in the pause menu. It's fucking brutal. So you have to go online and ask for help on how to play and beat Stalker. And then those same trolls call you a pussy because you're not playing Stalker Anomaly. You don't play Stalker Anomaly because it's fun. You play it because it's crushing. And after you beat it, you can lord it over the other non-versions who haven't spent hours, nay days, fighting off fictional starvation. You could do it. You can play and you can beat the mod that is the most ruthless thing to ever emerge from a mother's basement. You can spend literally hours dying randomly before you even realize that this game does spawn you with clothes, but doesn't spawn you with them on. Because this game, Stalker Anomaly, is for guys that produce extra testosterone and sell it to smaller, weaker men. And if you play Stalker Anomaly, you could become one of the Sigma Alpha Kappa males and call every noob every slur your parents can think of. When that gets boring, you can go online to get more Stalker content and only be called uncultured because you've never read Roadside Picnic. So you pick up the book and you get heavily into Eastern European literature, learning an admiration for the destitute workers whose lives have been exploited by the bourgeoisie in the costume of the proletariat. After becoming enlightened, you decide to go online and post on leftist forums, only to be called a sheep because you have never even seen an Android Tchaikovsky movie, let alone the adaption of the stalker book that was shot in Chernobyl and literally killed everyone who worked on it of agonizing cancer. And now the problem is it's good you're hooked and you have this overwhelming need to buy high-class cinema movies that you don't really even like and then you trick yourself into thinking that come and see is an incredibly dull despite being very poignant and you'll take those movies messages to heart you'll stop enjoying anything all because of an unfair capitalist system coupled with the opiate of blissful nihilism you could do all of that or you could do the right thing and tweak Stalker Anomaly so it becomes almost easier than the base game. And don't be ashamed to exploit the AI, jump at a car, and shoot them in the ass when they can't hit you because you know they'll shoot you in the ass the second they get the chance. And quick save like your sanity depends on it. Go back online, post screenshots of your badass run because the work that has gone into this mod is so insane, it's basically the best Stalker game. It's just so fucking hard. The losers online can't tell that you reduced bullet damage to three-fourths what it was. So when you post your screenshots, make sure you comment on the sexual exploits that you have shared with each and every single one of their mothers. And then you show them who's boss by being completely unreceptive to all signals of possible camaraderie through classic ball busting. Good for you.